So why is DNS vulnerable in the first place? So the fundamental reason is that the resolvers that issue the DNS query trust the responses that are received after they send out a query, regardless of where that response comes from. So sometimes these responses can be forged. When a resolver sends a query, it typically generates what's called a race condition. And if the attacker replies before the legitimate responder, then the resolver is likely to believe the attacker. DNS responses can also contain additional DNS information that's unrelated to the query. The fundamental problem is that the basic DNS protocols have no means for authenticating responses. This allows an attacker to forge responses after a resolver sends a query. A secondary reason that these types of spoofed replies are possible is that DNS queries are typically connectionless. Unlike BGP, where routing messages are transmitted over a reliable TCP connection, UDP queries are sent over a connectionless UDP connection. Therefore, a resolver does not have a way of mapping the response that it receives for a query, other than the query ID, which can be forged by the attacker. Let's look at how the combination of the lack of authentication and the connectionless nature of a DNS query allows the possibility for cache poisoning.